All right. We're on. Red. Oh, wait, wait. Tell me again. Ready? What? Kick me when it starts. Oh, it's it started. We make beer. People drink it. Who says that? Old Ellsworth in Queens Creek, Arizona. That's who! Oh, we took a trip out to Queen Creek, Arizona. For Old Ellsworth. And a great place. And they so had of good course we And they had great food too. Yeah, their food oh my was gosh. outstanding. And so were the rest of their beers. Killer homemade mac and cheeses. Yeah, we had the Irish egg rolls oh. there, which were great. Good. Yeah. I think we kind of went tapas, didn't we? We didn't get an actual meal meal. Yeah, and then we, we got, got a, a small of portion food. of the mac and cheese and it was just killer. But the Irish egg rolls, corned beef and cabbage with beer mustard. And uh, the people were so nice there also, all they the people were, that worked there. They were great peepers. Yeah, they were real friendly. They do their brewing right there on location. I had a flight, of course, because I like to try all kinds of different beers and flavors. But the, what really intrigued me was the Groot. And no, not the... That's the first thing I wanted because we read about it before we went and we yeah. heard what it was made with, all these different herbs. We had to try it, and the minute we tried it, we knew we had to have some. Yeah, so it doesn't have hops. What they use is uh, mugwort. Groot dates back to the 10th century, mm -hmm. and then in the 14th century, they started replacing Groot with hops. But it can have that's right what, there with all the different... That's what Harry Potter drank, <laughs> was the Groot. <laughs> what they would use for Groot was a combination including common heather, ground ivy. Wow, it's really called whorehound. Okay. Yeah, it is. Mugwort, sweet gale, Whore and hair. yarrow. But uh, also other the, uh, juniper berries, ginger, caraway, aniseed, nutmeg, very cinnamon, mint. Very unique. It was a traditional holiday ale from what I remember hearing, a holiday beer. And when you taste oh, it, you would open. think that because it tastes very holiday, which I always like those beers, like the pumpkin spice, the Christmas ales. So this was like, it hit it on the nose. So let's give that a pour. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. Look at that, yeah. That it's was been a... like about a month now since we tried it, so I'm ready to taste it again. Nice color on that. That's a real unusual color, wouldn't you say? It's almost like a dark golden. It's an amber golden color. Yeah, and, and the, when we had the it there, we liked it. it. Definitely takes me to my favorite oh. autumn ales, all the um, Halloween beers, all the pumpkin ales. Spicy it smells smelling. very holiday, like Christmas. Yeah. I love it. You can smell the cinnamon and nutmeg right off the bat. I almost get like a, a sort of a sour scent at the end, don't you? You? Why do you always taste before I even get a chance? Because I can't wait. I tasted it <laughs> way before. <laughs> well, don't you get that sour scent as well? Smell. Yeah, definitely. Just on the on the end yeah, of it. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of a sour. Yeah, it's not not that. Though. Yeah, a it's, little it's different. It's a pleasant. Yeah. Oh but, yeah. Let's go ahead and give it a cheers. cheers. A different taste than a regular ale. You know what I would, would I would say it is? It's like a holiday version of a Saison because it's got that little sour, little tart, and it's very, very good. Now, like a farmhouse ale. I couldn't say what mugwort tastes like, but there's a very distinct flavor in here that I, I just can't peg. That's the mugwort. That's the mugwort? I eat it a lot. Oh. In your potions. I really enjoy this beer. So our friends, uh, Lindsay and Keith, told us about this brewery, and we went there. They were right, and they said this was very oh, good. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Is. But this is, I didn't say, um, it's called Cloudy. Cloudy with the Crown to Goot. I am Groot. Yeah, but this is really unusual. If you're looking for a very unusual but yet pleasant flavor. Zero hops. It's you, you have to try this. To me, it puts me in my happy place. And uh, on the tasty meter, what would you say? So the tasty meter of one through five, I would give this a five because this is extremely unique and very pleasant and very just kind of magical different. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, see, I would go with a four on it because it is great tasting. I mean, a very nice uh, sipper. And I'm sure we're gonna get different flavors out of it as it opens up, as it yeah. sits for a little it's bit. It's already changing. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm getting it's now? It's an ancient herbed ale. And as it's opening up, I'm starting to get rosemary out of it as well. It Are you like getting it. oregano also? No. Yeah, I kind of even get oregano, which I love. I love the scent of rosemary and oregano. Maybe that's the, the crushed um, ivy or something. 
Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't know exactly what was in the, the cloudy with the chance of root. Maybe we can. I appreciate a brewery that tries something different. They had so many good beers. They had great IPAs at all different kinds, but then to have one that's extremely unique. With 11 different grains and zero hops, we use mugwort for a sage-like aroma. Yeah, I, I, I taste the sage in there. Orange and peel. And juniper. And orange peel and juniper. Yeah, that makes sense. And a nice touch of Scandinavian cloudberries. That's really so interesting. That it's a 5.6 ABV. I don't know what kind of distribution they have, so you would uh, have to look around or go to Queen Creek, Arizona, which is outside of Phoenix, Arizona. And so we want to thank you so much for following. And if you are not following, please like and subscribe and follow us. We're uh, also on uh, other social media sites. And get yourself some good snacks like my delicious warmed brie and crackers with that pairs honey very well with Groot. Yeah. Pecans, peepers. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and stay metal. And stay tuned for my first cooking show from Heavy Metal Beer Club coming soon. Cheers. I think that's good? Mm-hmm. I think right. it's great. Let's go check it out, Lever. Good game. <laughs>